Uh, is it on, dude? Are we on? <laughs> okay, we're on. <laughs> okay, are we looking pretty? Okay. Guys, welcome back to day two in Vegas. And today I am finally here working out with Victoria. So where can they find you? Who are you? Tell them a little bit about yourself. Yeah, you can find me here on YouTube um, under Six Pack Chick and also on Instagram at Six Pack Chick. And I'm very excited because I'm going to let her take the lead of today's workout. And it's going to be focused glutes and hamstrings, right? Glutes and hamstrings, yes. Ugh, I'm quite nervous now. So um, <laughs> always feeling the pressure when someone else is taking the realm because otherwise I'm always going to choose things that I am very good at. So yeah, let's go. I picked my favorites for today. It's going to be a great workout. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Lean forward, yeah. which I'm sure you're used to. But then also as I open, I come up. So oh. it's kind of like you stretch everything when you're down like this. Yeah. And then when you open and you sit up, everything's contracted and squeezed, right? Everything's yeah. smaller. So like, it kind of is like a seesaw kind of motion, I guess. So it's like this. Oh, I like that. Because that actually emphasizes to like really get the stretch, which your muscles love in order to, to grow. Uh, so stretch it and then really squeeze it at the top, right? Mm -hmm. And I really feel it when I come back in the upper glute. Ooh. And that's actually one of the parts that I really want to grow more. Yeah. That I feel like I'm lacking a little bit in. So that's great. So this is pretty light, but we're just going to warm up. Yeah. So when you do your warm up set, is it that you kind of just go with the flow or do you count your reps? I just kind of go with it. Yeah. It's usually like 15-ish. Yeah. I know that's what's funny when you're more experienced you just kind of like go just know yeah and that's what i tell people actually i a lot of times i say the difference between a beginner and intermediate isn't how many years you've been doing it it's how well you know your body yeah. to, to be able to pick a weight and hit the right number of reps yeah like on demand they gon' remember mine. Yeah. You are not at all ready. He ain't outlaw getting off when he calls and So moving over to hypers. The upper glutes. <laughs> the upper right stuff. There. The, the upper stuff. <laughs> <laughs> the one that you can like. But I actually feel like I have improved, like, cause that's was one of the aims that I really wanted to like yeah. be more out. <laughs> yeah. Be like Ching! And I feel like that's happened like a little bit, but I've been so slow. Like my posterior chain, lower yeah. body is so much harder for me to grow than my upper body oh, posterior. Yeah. Like my back is just like grow. that. I know. I have to be careful with that too, because I don't want my upper body to get any bigger. Like, so for the category that I've been competing with, so yeah. previously the WBFF and now I'm with um, FMG, um, the fitness category is like, it's fitness modeling. So it's it's not like overly muscular, like it's definitely lean and defined, yeah. but yeah. it's not like they don't necessarily want to see a bunch of size. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. you can you have to be careful to not like overdo it. Yeah. Um, and then because of how I've been training my legs, my legs have grown a lot. So now that's why I'm on the cusp right now of having to make a decision of like, do Where I switch I categories? Do I just have to tone down? So there's that's been discussions so that were like ongoing. Yeah. Um, that's the hard part of when you come when you train for competing, you have to make a decision first, like what kind of category do I want to fit in mm -hmm. and train according to that. That's why I stopped competing yeah. because I really love the way that I train yeah. and I have a picture in my head of this is going to be the perfect look for me, mm -hmm. which means that I am somewhere in between like figure and wellness. Right. I'm like, where the freaking heck? Yeah. The judges wouldn't know where to place me, yeah. which was the last thing I got a 10th place on European mm. they said oh you're almost because then wellness was not even there right so they said women's physique and I was like that's not where I want to go right so I'm like I don't know where I'm fit in so yeah. sometimes competing is really what you should do and sometimes just training for the actual love of it mm. is what you should do so mm -hmm. competing isn't for everyone but whenever you have that passion and that's like you have the grit for it go totally like yeah I couldn't agree more. It's it's been tough because when I was doing figure, it was always about toning down my legs. Yes, I because know. Because I played basketball, so I already, I was already a lower body dominant. Yeah. And I spent all this time toning down my legs, 
And then now, because I have been just same thing as you, I feel like in the last like five years, my training has really accelerated. Yeah. And I've just become a better athlete yeah. and better lifter. So my growth potential is like so much, yes. right? And now I'm like, okay, now in fitness, am I now getting too big for that? But I do like the look, but I also like how I train. <laughs> And that's the issue. That is like the so, momentum that's really hard yeah. to decide upon. So one of the things that I believe has helped me build my upper glutes. Yeah. There's three. The three things that I've credited. One is this exercise, 45 degree hypers. And mm -hmm. I go really heavy. My heaviest on this is three plates. <laughs> wow. Three plates? Yeah. Like holding to holding three plates. <laughs> okay, I will not be able to do that, but yeah. Um, I do think that the abduction work, the way that, I'm, that we just did it, yep. and I've done like heavier, like I'll do drop sets and I, yep. I, pretty, I go really high rep. Yeah. And then also really, really deep squats. So like ass, ass to, to the, the grass. grass squats and like really focusing on shooting upward. Yep. A lot of girls do this thing where they, I call it the stripper squat. Yeah. Right? Like the, yeah. When they come up because yeah. their quads can't handle the load, so they put it all on their back, they shift it up. Yeah. But when you actually go straight down and come straight up, you can really feel that upper glute just, mm -hmm. it kicks in mm -hmm. right at that last moment. Yeah. So if you look at my, my YouTube or even like back in my old videos with Andy, I mean, my workout's on repeat. And yeah. it was just a year of just those yeah, moves. But that, that's, and that's what people forget. You're not supposed to change your workout yeah. regimen too often. You have to find a good program that works for you. And then you have to kind of layer, 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 layer and keep going. Yeah. That's kind of like, yeah. this is consistency. This is like, it's supposed to be montane. Like yeah. it's not supposed to be fun and then exciting all the time. We looked at my photos last week mm -hmm. and he was disappointed with, he said, your upper glutes looking flatter. And I told him, I said, yeah, it's because we've shifted my workouts. We started reincorporating more quads again. Because last year I, t I stopped quads because of the show. Yeah. We reintroduced more quads. So my volume of this stuff went away. We haven't done this exercise. Um, our whole entire glute workout changed for the last three months. All right. And, I, and he's like, huh. And we sat down on the couch last week and looked through it. And it's true. And I'm like, we're not doing this anymore, this anymore, this anymore. So now we've revamped it. So here we are today. So here we are. Let's go. You follow Brett Contreras, right? So Brett mm -hmm. actually was one who actually taught me this exercise yes. a few years back of like really rounding or trying yes. to stay as round as you can. When the weight gets really heavy, you can't round as much, but do the best that you can. So I just pretend someone punched me here. Yeah. Like sucking it in. Yeah. Yeah. And you can actually see how she controls the weight with her lat as well. So she is incorporating her strength from the from the lat area too. She's lifting from her upper glute, but she is holding a stagnant feeling from the lat. So the arms are not doing all the work. Yes. Perfect form. Let's stop there. <laughs> that was a lot of reps. <laughs> it was like this. I don't know. Check the tape. Check the tape. No one was born of the fire. Sworn to a higher coat. Get light on up. Lit bit out of the entire go. We gon' level up. Corner off the entire flow. Put the beer there, wheels. I ain't do anything on a Topic I talk to my clients about this yeah. a lot. Most women are five four or shorter. Yeah. Like me. <laughs> I'm five seven and a half. Yeah. So these machines were designed for men who are at least 5'10". Yes. At least. So almost everything's gonna feel uncomfortable. The angle's not gonna be right. You're gonna bump into stuff. Your legs are gonna be too short. Yeah. Or your torso. So you have to like, anything. yeah. It's not you. Yeah. You have to modify. So you so. just have to figure out where you need to be in order. And that's also why you need to know, okay, what muscle group am I actually working? So make sure to create that mind to muscle connection. Because when you have that, it doesn't matter how it looks for everyone else. Maybe you're going to do a uh, exercise different from the person that you train with, but as long as you actually feel it at the same spot, it's okay. Cause we're all very different. Um, so keep that in mind. <sighs> yes. I was 20. 20? Yeah. <laughs> just, just casually oh. 20 like that. A little bit of a stung. Yeah. A little, bit. <laughs> a little sting at the end. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So we're doing a front foot elevated reverse lunge. You can do this with dumbbells, barbell, Smith machine. We're using a power squat 
Roger squat, um, which not every gym has this, but it's one of my favorite pieces of equipment. I begged I, them for like over a year to buy this. Yeah. No, this one is so. something that I really am missing at yeah. Gold's. I would love them to have a, a Roger squat or a power squat. Yeah. Um, this one is great. It's so good. Yeah. So we're just using, you could use like a, like a step, like an aerobic step. Yeah. We're using just a couple plates to get elevation. Yeah. And so when you step back, the goal is we want to lengthen the glute as much as possible. So we're getting front foot elevated mm -hmm. so that you can get even deeper. And I try to lightly tap my foot to the floor. Oh, so you're like, yeah. Just like that. So you step back and I did a video with um, Jared Feather from RP, mm -hmm. Renaissance Periodization. Yeah. And he's really a stickler for this too. He and I agree this is the best glute building exercise ever. Lunges in general are always really Above good. Above anything this else. This one is, I think I'm gonna agree upon that. Because... So when you do this though, you wanna step back mm -hmm. and like the back foot wants to tap at the last moment. So you're gonna bend, 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 then tap. And then yes. you wanna push through the front foot to stand up. So this back foot is literally doing nothing. Yeah. As little as possible. As little as possible, okay. Which is why we only have 25 pounds on this machine. Yeah, there you go. Deep, 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 good. Oh, there it was. Pause for a second at the bottom. Feel the stretch and then push up. Okay. So really just taking all momentum out of it. Yeah. That's perfect. Woo. Yes. Yes. <sighs> Moving on to double RDLs. It's uh, one of my favorite ways of doing RDLs right now. And then I'm going to let uh, Victoria tell you guys about like her ideas of it. And the thing is, what I have realized is that everyone is doing it a little bit differently. Uh, like how deep people go, it's all depending on your stretch because you want to feel the stretch and then the hip pin. But yeah, uh, let's talk about the RDLs. Is it one of your favorite moves? Yeah, RDLs are definitely one of my favorite moves. If I had like a top, I think I actually had this in my top eight to 10 yeah. moves to do every single week for the rest of your life would be RDLs. Um, works your entire posterior chain. Definitely. Um, the way that we're performing them is a little more glute biased, right? So yeah. a little bit more bend to the knees. Um, you're gonna get more glutes. I do like to get full extension yeah. all the way down. That's what I do too. Yeah. Um, I, so I know like, so this is probably coming from like the bikini competitor world. They don't want any thickness to the legs at all. Yeah. Like at all. <laughs> so they avoid training for the most part, anything heavy on glutes and quads. So the heavier you go on this, you want it all in the glutes, they reduce their range of motion and they pretty much keep it to here. Yes. It's like right here. Yeah. And that avoids potential of any low back and then also avoids any potential of your hamstrings yeah. helping. I like to develop hamstrings. Yeah. I think it looks really nice to have a nice Same. kind of a curve there. I agree. So I do full, I actually do deficit RDLs I yeah. stand on a step, step. Mm -hmm. and go even lower. I love those too. So, so I feel like it's like, depending on again, what is it that you're trying to accomplish mm -hmm. and what kind of sensation are you looking for? And I'm happy that you're actually exactly where I am. Yeah. Cause I feel like it's so nice to just go as deep as your body allows you to. Yeah. And so that you really feel the stretch in the posterior chain, you feel the activation, you feel like you need to utilize your entire back backside to yeah. actually use and get the weights up again. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. yeah. And you don't have to go too heavy when you're really focused and keeping the form really tight. So you don't need, I mean, so for some people, this is probably very heavy. Yeah. My cue is I say you should scrape your fingers down your thighs to keep the dumbbells as close to the body as possible. And then I say, as you approach the floor, imagine it's a stop sign. So slower as you lower, as you get closer, you go even slower until you get to a full stop and then you squeeze the glutes and come up. Unless you're a California driver <laughs> and you roll through stop signs. <laughs> yep. There you go. And you will feel some lower back. Again, this is a posterior chain exercise. So a lot of people, 
they go, oh my God, I feel in my back. Like that's something wrong. And it's, no, it's probably an area you should strengthen. Exactly. So feel a little bit after I would say five or six reps, if that feeling uncomfortable, probably stop or lighten the weight, but you will get stronger. Uh, oh my god a little exaggerated in the last one it was good did you get that <laughs> uh, so guys we got a new cue i need to get my bottle up to the roof no but like so i always did like back yeah scooch it back but that last little part of just like tilting it lift. like a little bit yeah that is a game changer yeah let me know like when it's on it's on. <laughs> <laughs> I never know because this camera doesn't have a light. Every so I, <laughs> I don't see your red button. Uh, no, but honestly, um, I chose to have a cable work as the last piece because I suck <laughs> at doing cable work. And I'm going to be honest with that. Uh, and this looks extremely good in my opinion because your, your muscles want to have the stretch and want to have a load in that stretch phase. So, I get this. I just don't know how my body will get this because it's going to be a, a muscle to mind thing that I never done. So Ow. I already told them, like, don't laugh at me. <laughs> These are very hot. So by the way, it's I only have five pounds on yeah. this thing. You could probably even start with just body weight because yeah. the angle yeah. already it's gravity, right? You're already yeah. going against gravity. So, so single leg, no weight. Step one, single leg with weight. And then I showed you the advanced. You yeah. actually lift the leg and do like a double clamshell. Mm. I can do like 10 reps and then you're like, done. Okay. It's so humbling. The, the, the Jordan gang, you wish I really film all our shoes. <laughs> we are the cutest team here today. <laughs> See? And the guys have so, it too. I look like I have giant feet compared to you. <laughs> That's a shoe. Yeah, I'm a baby. What is it? Like a six? Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I have a 10. I said, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, but it doesn't look big in those. It's because of these big quads I have. Yes, I think. Yeah. I don't even like, okay, so <laughs> this is another thing. I hardly know how to get these on because I never use. No, I have not been lifting for 20 years of my life. <laughs> I just cannot get it. it really lift up. It's like double clam. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yep, that's mm. it. There's a little bit of coordination involved. Uh, a lot of coordination. Uh, I don't feel like that is a good move at the end of a leg day, but I hear, I'm here for it, okay? Right. Yeah. <sighs> I think the double clam is really, really get it on this side. Yeah. So it's down and then lift up all together. Yep. Down. Feels like I am up. <laughs> there you go. No. Oh, I can see your glutes working. Yeah, they are. Yeah. Good. Cause I can feel them. Yeah. Yeah, I feel it like everywhere. I okay, think now I think, I think the arm was in the way. Yeah, it's like as you, as you start to figure out the movements, and you can start to then really feel the muscle. Oh. Figuring out the movements, the hardest part. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah, I, got, I think I got it then. Yeah. <laughs> Give me at least one more set of it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, but okay. I think I actually can start to like these. I loved that. Me too. Thank that you. was so fun. Oh, it was really fun. <laughs> I'm so, it took us forever to finally do this too. Yes, we have been wanting to do this for a very long time. And I hope yeah. now that you guys do come to Cali yeah. very soon that we can do it again. And hopefully we will just be able to do this more frequently because I would love to work out with you again. And I would love to me staring it as well. So we can go like, oh yeah, you I mean, it through. definitely something very similar to me, except the, the last piece, we would not do cables, Yeah. but otherwise. Yeah. So we were saying earlier, the best exercise to grow is usually the one you don't do. So yeah. we all get in the habit of doing our similar things over and over again. Yeah. So I'm sure there's stuff that you do that I don't do. Yeah. Um, so I'm eager to come back and we'll do a part two for you guys. Yeah, definitely. So comment down below if you want to see a part two and thank you guys so much for tuning in. And there's one last piece that I always do before, um, leaving my channel is that I ask the person that I work out with to say the same words that I say, because I, my last word in every video 
after saying subscribe and like and notification bell and all that jazz, you know, which you should do, by the way, on both of us. Thank you. Uh, but I always say, ha det best. Ha. Ha. Det. Det. Best. Best. See? What does that mean? Natural. <laughs> what did I just say? <laughs> uh, have a great time. Have a, have a blast. Oh, awesome. Ha det best. Like, stay, stay, stay well. Be happy or whatever. Stay healthy. Yeah, stay healthy. Pretty much. But one, two, three. Ha det best. best.